Should you clip your parrot's wings and who in my flock is clipped and why? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. Please be sure to get your copy so that on Amazon so that when I get photobombed by Cammy, uh, uh, mm, I don't know, maybe I'll have a little more patience about it. In this video, we're talking about clipping. Someone asked me uh, if I uh, like, you know, to do a video and talk about who gets clipped and why. Now, this is sort of a real interesting question and I would love to hear your opinion in the comments below as to whether or not you clip and you know how you feel about clipping, what you think of it. We, my husband and I, we really, generally speaking, we feel like, um, you know, it's like the parrot nests of a parrot to fly. When you look at a parrot, they are like, their wingspan is wider, I think, than their body, especially if you don't count their tail. A parrot, man, they, they like to fly, right? It's just like any bird. So we, we don't like to clip. Plus, we love to see someone like Cammy flying in the air. The colors, the incredible, um, oh, oh, I missed her. The incredible um, motion of the flying, the the way they navigate. Sometimes she'll like <laughs> flip her wings kind of like that and almost go in reverse when she's sort of overshot something. You know, just that kind of thing. Or sometimes in my house, um, it's kind of cool. You're doing something and then a bird flies overhead. It's cool. We really love it. However, we do have some clipped babies. Who do we have that's clipped and why? Let's see. You want to fly? Oh, oh, oh. Can you fly? No? Uh-oh. I'm going to have a war of the roses here. War of the feathers. Fly! Um, so, hey, I know, I know, you see the birds. Cammy, it's okay. Quiet down. Hey, Cammy, come. Cammy, stop. So who's clipped and why? Lorenza, I don't have to clip. Lorenza is my yellow nip Amazon and she is my bird. She chose me. She, she's awesome with me. She's awful with everyone else and I love her. Oh, I thought she was coming over here for landing. Uh, she's not clipped. When I first got her, she was but her feathers have all grown out. I wish I could show them to you, but nobody likes to have their, nobody likes to have their wings open. <laughs> She's like, no, oh, come on. Um, Lorenza actually cannot fly, and it is probably because someone fed her a seed-based diet for some time and so she's got brittle bones because seeds inhibit the absorption of calcium and she has fatty veins which show on x-rays it's it's kind of ah. horrid so bad ah. bones and fatty veins I think makes it really hard to fly uh, Cammy of course <laughs> she's not clipped she's never been clipped so um, she can fly and she's it's fun to watch her fly. Kailani, her big sister, is she was clipped when I got her. I didn't have a choice. Unfortunately she was clipped. And so now her, we've never clipped her, so she is it is incredible to watch her fly. So um, Kailani is growing her feathers out and She's starting to figure out and learn that she can fly. We think it's also really important because it gives them really good exercise. Um, who else is clipped? My African capes came that way, unfortunately. So they're clipped. And I have two parrotlets that we took a one night trip. We stayed overnight 
out of the house and I had to take the baby parrotlets that I was hand feeding with me and the two older ones, they were starting to fly and I just wasn't willing to risk uh, them. You know, I mean, I, I had them in a, a little cage and I was like, if they, if they just get out, they'll be gone. Little parrots, they fly fast and furious and they can be very hard to catch and they can very quickly go up way beyond your reach. So they are clipped and um, their feathers are starting to grow back out. Uh, and sure enough, they, they got out. It's just me, I know. They got out of their cage because I was taking out the other babies to feed them and they got out. And if they hadn't been clipped, I would have lost them. I will clip for a parent's safety or for their, their um, or for the safety of like, if, like for example, my Indian ringneck, she's not clipped, but um, she used to go and bother my little parrotlets in their cages and she would pose a threat. And at that point I would have clipped her. However, we built a wall to enclose the room that the parrotlets are in, so now she can't threaten them. And now I, you know, I don't worry. They're, she's still a little mean <laughs> to other parrots. Like she will chase Ursulus, my Mexican redheaded Amazon, but Ursulus isn't clipped, so he can just fly away. Um, my Indian ringneck's a little mean, Milo, but it's good exercise. It's a pecking order kind of thing. It's a good flock thing in the sense that no one's getting bitten, no one's getting injured, someone's getting a little harassed, but it's also entertaining both of them and it's giving uh, giving them something to do and letting them fly and I just, there's no threat, there's no, you know, it's kind of like having an older sister that's kind of mean to you, but not really, you know, doing anything nasty. So I think it'll get better. It's just sort of a pecking order kind of thing, and it's just not that big of a deal. Other than that, is anybody clipped? Um, I recently was given a hands macaw, Emerald, and Emerald has a nasty habit of flying over, finding me in the kitchen, flying over to me. I cannot have her fly onto a hot stove. If I determine that her flight can put her in risk because she flies into dangerous situations, I will clip, period. I, you know, or if I had a bird that was flying into the windows and wasn't figuring it out, I would really clip. However, my birds have all figured out the windows, like they'll fly up to the window and then they'll stop. <laughs> so windows aren't a problem. No, 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 that's not nice. So, um, I am also very fortunate though, I have this enclosed lanai, you can see the white rails that hold the lanai or the netting or the, you know, um, and for that reason, my girls can fly around in here very safely, uh, anyone can fly, any one of my girls can fly around here very safely, I don't have to worry, and now she's trying to eat the camera, um, so that makes it so much easier because they have a place where they can really do some flying and um, I don't have to worry about necessarily predators bothering them or anything like that. So it, 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 they can get some exercise, enjoy some fresh air, really, um, you know, really kind of have like a jungle gym time. It's like they're going out to the park and I don't have to worry. So there's Kailani. Hi, Kailani. Hi. Who is learning to fly. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. So, there you have who does and doesn't fly in my flock. Uh, thank you for the fabulous question, or I should say who's clipped and who's not clipped. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of how we roll with the feathers. Oop, thank you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that YouTube lets you know the next time my Harlequin macaw up there steals something that I then have to try to get back. See you next time.